had that whiff. That one. There, a bit. Well, welcome back to the channel. Today we are targeting some walleyes, maybe some decent pike, and who knows, maybe even some perch and some decent sized bluegills. And we are going to be targeting them in shallow water. This is my absolute favorite bite during this time of year when these fish get so aggressive. They're shallow, they're a little bit spooky, but they're typically hanging around these shallow flats where there's some sparse weeds or some scattered weed beds. And right now we're kind of sitting right next to one of these little weed patches you can see here on the live scope. Um, and we're just seeing fish kind of cruise in and around these weeds. And again, it's one of my my favorite bites because these fish can be so aggressive when they're up and they're in these shallow areas chasing some of that forage so we're gonna sit it out here for a few hours see if we can get a few nice walleyes and who knows maybe some nice pike bluegills perch a little bit of everything is around these shallow weeds on these flats this time of year one GoPro is having issues my head cam right now I'm having issues with it all year it's actually a decent pike Jeez. Oh man. Oh, this thing is thick right there. Wow, I did not think it was going to be that big. And I have no idea what this looks like. I'm going to get the main camera out here quick. There. It is solid pike right there. I was not expecting that right away. I even when it hit, it didn't feel this big. But um, not that it's a giant by any means, but for these area lakes, that's a great great fish we'll get that one back before it splashes me pretty wild i am just barely getting set up like i said i put the big camera away right away i was gonna hold off for a second just because it's so misty and kind of foggy out um, so i have no idea what the quality of the footage is going to be here but not a bad little way to start get the adrenaline going a little bit on a big old pike <sighs> i'm glad i was recording for that There's something coming in. Come on. I don't want to kneel down. There it is. There it is. It's right underneath the ice. And a decent. Whoa. Jeez. A decent walleye right there. He's all snowy now. Oh my goodness. Let me get him off second walleye of the day first one wasn't on camera the man when you're this shallow it's just crazy how quickly they come up there just all of a sudden right there and that guy was feisty they don't get very tired coming up that short but good to see how aggressive that one was you could see about 30 feet that way there's a good little patch of weeds and i've been seeing some fish over there so we may end up moving a little bit closer i'm guessing a lot of those are you know perch or panfish or something but i'm assuming there's gonna be some walleyes maybe some decent pike cruising around there as well we got a flag and it seems to be running my guess is pike the way it is running all right Let's see if he's still yep Does not feel big. See? Oh yeah, it feels pikey. Sure enough. Little hammer handle. Fish around, fish around, that's a good thing. Jeez. Oh, How'd that whiff? Gotta be a pike. Gotta be a pike. Ooh, it's actually a decent walleye. Whoa. That thing came and crushed it. Decent little walleye there. Oof, this guy got gashed on this side here. I'll show you that side. You can see right on that side there he got gashed. Not a bad little wall. I thought for sure it was going to be a pike the way it bit. You can see that dinner bell right in the corner of its mouth there. What a fun bite in the shallow water. These fish tend to be so aggressive and when you get them out of the water they just don't want to quit So it was such a short fight. And we'll let that guy go. Sweet. 
flag up over there. Running that way. Oh, so it should be pretty good to take them. Small. Very small. Tiny little piker. I've gotten quite a few questions on these tip-ups that I use and these ones are called uh, the Finicky Fooler. I started using these a couple years ago um, and I love them because you don't need bobber stops. You don't need to have any specific setups. All you need is a rod and then you're set. You know, the one issue is that the holes, if it's not warm out, do freeze over. Um, there's obviously a couple options that you can use to help keep those open and they even create a little uh, cover for it. But I love the ease of use. I love how quick they are to set up, quick they are to take down. They don't take up a huge area in your sled or in your storage areas. Um, so I really like them, especially when you get a decent day like this out. Super easy to use, I'll just show you here quick. Once you have it set to about the depth that you want, all you need to do is you put your rod in here, get it centered about above the hole, flip your bail open just like that. A little clunky to do with gloves on. And then you slide your line right underneath here. They have a couple different settings that you can use. These little rubber pieces, depending on how stiff you want it. Then all you have to do is you slide that uh, little snap right onto there and you're set. And the line pulls that little lever, the flag flips up, and then it can start free spooling right away. So very easy to use, very easy to set up, minimal gear. And like I said, they are just super convenient and I've really started to like these setups. So I'm cruising through right on bottom here. See if I can get down in time. Oh, just barely got down in time. And we have another decent walleye. Literally just got back from getting that tip up. I'll just show you that one here quick. We might have another one rolling through. Eater size walleye right on that dinner bell again. So, great fish. That one was cruising right underneath, right as I got back from setting that tip up up. We'll let that guy go. Whoa, if he lets me. He is still so feisty. These early season fish like this are so much fun. They are just so aggressive and have so much pep. Flag and it's ripping. There's gotta be a pike. Shoot. Is it still there? Yep, it is. Wonder what we got. My assumption is a pike and it got off. Shoot. That seemed like a decent fish too. <laughs> One, three. Ooh, a big bluegill. That wasn't what I was thinking it was. But if you probably can't even see it with my gloves. Nice bluegill. Man, this thing's wired up too. Oh, leg. Yeah, there you're starting to run. As soon as we get close like that, he's starting to run. All right, that one's good. Okay, see if he's there. Yep, he's there. Not sure, not as squirrely as a pike. This looks like it might be a walleye. Sure enough. Not a big walleye. Oh, come a little closer. I'll let you see that one. There we go. Another eater size walleye. If we were eating, if we were keeping. First walleye on the tip up today, I think though. Everything else has come off of jigging. One more look. There we go. Yeah, that thing you can see, especially when I'm pulling this sled around, making all that noise. Man, as soon as you start pulling up closer to them, they just start running, running, running. They get spooked pretty easily. Something coming in already. That one hit like a pike. <laughs> and not a big pike either. Oof, 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 oof. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. 
is just getting that tip up set. Oof. That one came and hit it pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, a little walleye. Probably almost looked on the hole right now. Let's see what it is. Jeez. This thing came out of nowhere. It was right on bottom. Chill. Just a little skinny walleye. Oh, he is not wanting to move. Tiny little guy. Another big blue kill. You just never know what these are gonna be. Another big bluegill. That's what I love about these shallow flats like this. Is you're gonna catch a little bit of everything when there's weeds around um, and you have a chance of catching big anything as well. Oop. Flag over there or something smaller that keeps tripping this flag. Oh, never mind. Something's on it. <laughs> uh, we got a tiny little pike. Oh, that one looks a little bigger. That one looks a little bigger. Oh no, and it's spooked. Oh, come on. That one looks like a better fish. It's coming right from this side of me. Let it drop to the ground, slowly pull up. There it bit. Oh no, that was a good fish. Drag seemed like it was okay, maybe a little light. Oh no, finally got it to bit too. Look at that, I can't even talk now, I'm so frustrated. Finally got it to bite. Ah, oh, I think that was one of the fish we were looking for. There's something rolling on bottom. Doesn't look crazy big though. Keep coming, nope, not this one. Nope, I guess that one's not bad either. Decent walleye. I thought this one was a smaller one. I thought this was gonna be like a bluegill or something. Get my light on here. There we go. A little nighttime walleye right there. Sweet. Oh, oh. That one looks decent. Oh yeah, that's a decent fish, I think. He bit. Don't know if he has it. Yep, he has it. Let him have it. There we go. Not big. Whoa. While I thought it was gonna be a pike for a second, the way it starts being squirmy. Another, whoa, walleye right at dark there. Again, on that same dinner bell. Haven't been getting it any of too great size, but been getting with some decent quality. We'd have a heck of a meal if we were keeping. Yeah, a few of these have been biting so short I wanted to give it a little extra time you could see even the line moving when it was swimming with it like that I love the shallow water stuff when the live scope is at such a big scale you can feel like you just see every detail of these fish really quickly want to run through my setups um, on my jig and rod I'm using a 34 medium light and this is with the PC fun carbon X 1000 I uh, really like this setup for a variety of things it can fish inside the house it's not too long but still has a little bit more length than some of those 30 32 inches uh, so you can use it for a hole hopping rod as well on my tip up setup it is a 34 medium so basically the same setup with the PC fun carbon X 1000 as well uh, but just a little bit more backbone in case there's uh, uh, some bigger minnows on that one chasing after some pike or some bigger walleyes so, well that is going to be a wrap fun afternoon out here fishing some of these shallow flats catching a little bit of everything something that's really easy to do this time of year that you can go out walk to a lot of different lakes and have some pretty good success without having a snowmobile atv or even needing to drive out with a pickup so again i always appreciate the sport thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time